remember one of the things I watched said that the mountain lion's tracks are all on a straight row. I don't know if the light's good enough for this to show up, but uh, these tracks are kind of all in a straight row. That's kind of what they look like. So another thing I heard lately is the adventure doesn't begin until things don't go as planned. So I had this big plan of driving up this highway, and they weren't kidding when they said no maintenance and road closed. They got a gate and everything. So I parked at the gate, and I'm now hiking up the Needles Highway. So this is going to be kind of cool. I uh, parked back there. And have been hiking just for a little bit here. Sun's starting to come up over the hill. It's 28 degrees. And uh, we're going to see what's around the next corner, of course. Maybe it's this mountain lion track. Who knows? But here comes the adventure. We'll see what happens next. So this is turning out to be a pretty fun, unplanned adventure. It's uh, January 13th, oh, about 10 in the morning, 2020. I've uh, been walking up the Needles Highway for a while. Pretty neat. I've went uphill entirely since I left the car. I should have checked how far that is. I'll do that and report in next time. It's been a lot of fun because there's a lot of tracks. You know, I see deer and elk and bunnies and squirrels. And a whole bunch of these that I gotta believe are mountain lions. These ones here, oh, I don't know, I'm not a tracker, but it's been a, probably a few days old. Back when I first started, you can tell the snow was just busted, just like my tracks. So... I'm just going to continue on the road and either follow the Needles Highway, which, gee whiz, not too many people get to hike on, and uh, maybe connect with that trail I was on the other day or maybe keep following the highway. So, And every time I try to talk, there's an airplane in the background, so boy, I'm really in the wilderness. Okay, i got to hike on. I'm uh, five miles in, hiked all the way on the Needles Highway, been just, just absolutely a fantastic hike. I got to give Sonny one of these. Uh, taking a little break here, uh, just over 6,100 feet. I think the car was probably at about 5,100 feet. Adventure sort of just happened. Boy, I'm glad I did it. I should turn around now, but I'm probably going to go around the corner a little further. Um, about 28 degrees when I left the car. Uh, been hiking in snow most of the way and uphill almost the entire way. So about a thousand foot climb. But it's just super gradual. It'd be really a cool cross country ski. And yeah, it turned out to be not at all what I set out to do, but I'm glad I did it. I might go just a little further. 
still a long ways back to the car. The reason I'm glad I did this is, is like the gold panners say, you know, you shouldn't leave gold to search for gold. So I decided today I shouldn't leave adventure to go looking for adventure. By golly, I get to see a lot of cool things, and I maybe should get better at videoing and maybe editing and maybe a little better camera equipment. But that's why I'm practicing with this to see what's up. Hope the wind isn't bad here. The only downside of the day is the higher I got, it got windier and windier. But boy, a sunny day. I'm the only turkey out here. It's just a cool thing that I've done. I gotta go a little further. I hope that this records because I made it here. It's not quite seven miles in. I just wanna get try to get out of the wind. I might be tough in this tunnel. I can block it here. The needle's eye is where I just got to. And uh, I've been at this a while. I didn't even check that. But cool beans. I made it here. Looks like we had a little rock fall. I didn't think I could make it here. I got to get back though. Uh, it's about six, over 6,400 feet in elevation, so been a long, steady climb. Seen some great scenery. Uh, my camera keeps telling me, of course, that I'm dangerously low on space, so this might not record, but I'm taking a chance, because this is my super super duper pooper scooper target to get to here I'm trying to shield with my hand I hope I'm not shielding the photography from the wind I'm gonna go to here and turn around this is just one cool thing that I made it this far I got a long ways to go back. So, I think I'll shut this off. Maybe I'll get some of this without too much wind. Yeah, I'm going to shut this off. Okay, probably can't see them, but there's trail from my tracks going out and my tracks coming back. Now, the summary of what happened in between going out and coming back is I went, this is the uh, Needles Highway. It's closed in the winter, so I decided to make it into my own adventure and hike up it. Had it all to myself all day, not another soul around. And I didn't think I'd make it, but I made it all the way up to the needle's eye. Mostly snow covered the whole way. Came from about 5,100 feet here to up top. Uh, highest point, right around 6,500 feet. So pretty, pretty good elevation climb. I uh, absolutely enjoyed the day. It wasn't at all what I planned. 
but it turned out wonderful. Highly recommend this hike in the winter for anybody that wants to get away from it all and enjoy enjoy some scenery and a good good workout. It's uh, probably aren't going to want to go if you're afraid of walking around in mountain lion tracks. I think I saw lots of those. Didn't see any mountain lions. Didn't see any squatch. Uh, lots of animal tracks. That's about it. Saw four buck deer on the way in. I was in the car still though. But what a great hike. Really scenic. A very well known scenic highway and I had it all to myself. So that was a great deal. Uh, when you're out like I do alone on a day day adventure, I end up with a lot of thoughts in my head. So I'm going to run out of battery here. So we're going to take a shot at putting this thought on tape. Um, the thought for the today is um, whether you're out on a day adventure or a much bigger adventure or even the biggest adventure of all being life, you're, you're never really off course or lost if you're happy where you're at and you know where you're going. So I thought that through today. Another thing that hit me while I was out there is I kind of got a three generation connection with this road. And that being that my grandfather Sam built roads and he helped build this Needles Highway. And my father, Harold, uh, he was the director of Custer State Park not too long back and now I hiked up that road so there's kind of a three generation connection there so there we go I wasn't lost and I wasn't off course today I better get in my car and go back to reality hope this video turns out we'll see <laughs> oh